They weigh just eight grams, mostly plastic and a bit of metal. The WDU 2.5 terminal is the company's best-selling product. This is a high-tech product, even if you can't tell at first sight. These components are used in machinery and pieces of plant. They're used in the chemical industry, in rail vehicles, and in ships. Everywhere where data, signals and electricity is conducted and connected, where cables are connected to one another. Whether it's connectors or terminals like this one, most Weidmüller products are tucked away in switch boxes or inside other electrical equipment. They may be low profile, but it's a lucrative business. In the last business year, Weidmüller posted more than half a billion euros in sales. At the helm of the family-run company, Supervisory Board Chairman Christian Glesel, representing the family owners, and Weidmüller CEO Peter Köhler. Glazel wanted operations to be run by someone outside the family. Finding the right person wasn't easy, though. Glazel wanted a person with international experience, but who would feel at home here in Detmold, and, of course, had the right personal chemistry. Our family has its own code, its own rules and regulations. The family supports the company, and at the same time, we have a very competent management team whose views aren't colored by family feelings. The Weidmüller company was founded 160 years ago, but it produced textiles until it was taken over in 1937 by Christian Glesel's great uncle, Gottfried Glesel. He kept the name Weidmüller for the firm, but instead of producing clothing, he started manufacturing connectors for electrical cables. And business started flourishing. When the post-war German economic miracle took off in the 50s, more and more machines were needed, and more and more connectors. If Christian Glesel has his way, one day his children or his sister's children will take over the firm. All of them will get an idea of what goes on in the company. They'll get some work experience here and spend some time here. We have our responsibilities too. I don't think it would be a good thing to say my children or all these children can do whatever they want. And the only important thing is that they be happy in life. Well, that's right on the one hand, but someone has to do it. The alternative would be selling off the business. And that would be a shame. Glazel and his sister live in a part of western Germany where the people have a reputation for being down-to-earth and thrifty. Their father set up a foundation in the 1980s. It finances local education projects. For example, school dance projects like this one. Students can also apply for scholarships. Each year, the Glazel Foundation puts back several hundred thousand euros into the region. It has permanent staff and is professionally managed. There's a case to be made for professional staff. When you look at foundations, many of them, also ones set up by companies, are run with a lot of good feeling. But often they're not run as professionally as the company's own business. The Glazels and their company aren't just concerned with keeping machinery moving, they also want to stimulate the local community. <laughs>